If you think you caught the clap. Oh, fudge. Or forgotten to wrap it up. Do you use condoms when you have sex? No. <gasps> oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Oh. This is a place for you. Oh, God, I should have shaved my badge. Our team of sexual health experts will get to the bottom of any problem. I'm going to do a quick swab from your back passage. Ah, uh, oh, fucking... Sorry. And in this clinic, nothing is off limits. Do you do any fisting or anything like that? Well, I've been told I like anal sex a bit too much. <gasps>I had a girl that came into the clinic years ago and her friend had told her she'd had unprotected sex with somebody and she was really worried about getting pregnant to shake up a bottle of coke, introduce it to her vagina and all the carbonated water and fluid would just like wash all of the semen away from everywhere. Painful. I was like, did you do it? She was just a bit like, well, I thought about it. Could you imagine? I mean, I can, but I don't want to imagine it, if you know what I mean. You would never recover. I fancy the hard to get girls. Do you? Look at you, you're a little ladies man, aren't you? If I saw you in a bar, yeah. I would make you want me more than I oh, want really? you. Oh, really? What's a nice dick to you? Gotta be like this big, not too big, but not too small. About this, this big. On, this on the hard? Yeah. Oh, you're fairly easy to please then, aren't you? Why, what are you moving with? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit bigger than that. That's the nicest dick I've set with. Is and that thickness. This thickness thick, this is yeah. nice. But it has to smell nice as well. There's Not nothing so. worse than a smelly dick. But would you still suck it? No. Oh no, probably would. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Crystal? Crystal fabulous. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. I'm the health advisor. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you I'm a bit nervous now. Oh, don't be nervous. We're going to take good care of you. Yeah. So paint me a picture. What are you about? What's going on? What do you get up to? What, what don't I get up to? <laughs> Hi, have a seat for me. How are you? A little bit nervous? It's nerve wracking, yeah, because I've never done this before. So what do you think we'll be doing here today then? I have no idea, like, what's she doing, what are you doing, like, I don't know. Okay, fine. So as I said, I'm one of the doctors. So this is Sarah, she's one of the nurses. Hey. Okay. So essentially, in this clinic, we've got access to very instant tests. New tests for chlamydia and gonorrhea. How many partners in the last three months do you reckon? I break up my boyfriend at Christmas. Yeah. I only slept with nine people. I'm now on 19. Okay, so that's like oh, 10, 10 more. people. When was the last time you had sex? Uh, like three months ago. Fuck, you're telling me. Yeah, it's been a little while for you. So recently, yeah. taking a dip in the other pond. Oh. I know. Okay, okay. I know. So what was the sex like before this lady? Like I was sucking a lot of dick. Were you? Okay, is that what you like to do? I Professionally. Professionally. <laughs> if I could do it on the CV, <laughs> I would. But then I sort of got bored of it. Mm -hmm. the, throat, the throat was getting bruised. Yeah, yeah. There's only so much. There's only so that much you can do with that. Yeah. Would you still go down and go after she's had sex with you? You pull, pull out and then she's like, go down on me. Would you still do it? Only if she didn't make me come when I was inside of her. Oh, okay, fair. Because if I come, then I'm like, I'm done. Yeah, it's done for you though. What about me? Do you know what I mean? You need to finish yourself. Not fast. <laughs> <laughs> like... Finish myself, I be in the banana. <laughs> <laughs>Rachel. Rachel. My name's Sarah. Hi. I'm the nurse that's going to be seeing you today. Oh, cool. What brings you to the sexual health clinic today? Uh, well, I work in the porn industry and I need to get tested at least once a month, so right. this is what I'm here for. How did you get into the porn industry? Well, I had a friend okay. and one day she just messaged me out of the blue because she knew I was bisexual. She said, if someone's dropped out of a shoot, would you be interested in working with me? And I was like, yeah, I'd love to give it a go. I really enjoyed it. And it became a full-time job, strangely, but yeah. <laughs> fine, and you're enjoying it so far. That's all that matters. And have you had your first sexual experience with a lady yet? I have, I'm bloody, it's, do you know what? Was you nervous? The first, no. Okay. I dive straight in. Oh my God. Head you... first. And I thought I'd be like, shit, like, I'm gonna have to let this purse that's right in front of me. He's like, hit this close, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he got to it, I was just like, 
Dive shark. <laughs> <laughs> Any particular reason you're not sexually active with men for porn? My boyfriend wouldn't be comfortable with it. He wouldn't like it. He so. wouldn't like it. Yeah, no. Have you ever sort of been on set and just thought, oh, she's not really my type? It's, it's happened yeah. from time to time, but it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. if you don't like really fancy. There's no each sexual other. chemistry. Just, I guess you don't have to worry about erections and stuff. It's just girls. <laughs> yeah, so. that's it. Do you use condoms when you have sex? No. Nope. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, that's, you're I'm poor really at sorry. now. That is bad, ain't it? I just like the skin to skin. Like, I like yeah. the. Do you know what I mean? Like, like the intimacy yeah. it creates. Any symptoms at all at the moment? Mm, I ain't got an itchy down below, so. No. And do you ever get sort of concerned about any particular types of infections? Well, the thing with getting tested once a month is you don't know what happens in the window in between, so there's always right. that anxiety that what if you pick something up? What's syphilis? So syphilis is just another STI, it's passed on through oral sex and vaginal sex. What about contraception? Have you got anything to stop you getting on the like... Pill. Yeah, yeah, on the pill. On the pill. When I remember it. If you're not taking it all the time, there can sometimes be a pregnancy risk. Oh, so it. what I might do is get you to do a pregnancy test today, if that's all right. You said you only have sex with females on screen for work, is that right? If it's someone I don't know, I ask them to put condoms on toys, so Fine. that is helpful. Like HIV and AIDS, the same thing. With HIV, that's an STI as well. It's just mad how I'm so uneducated. Do you ever have anal sex or anything? Oh! <sighs> oh, gosh. Me and anal do not get on well. <laughs> no, what happened? I blacked out. Have you ever had unprotected sex? Mm. And does that worry you, or...? I'm quite picky. OK, so what do you mean by that? You know someone who's sleeping around with locker people. How do you work that out? I just can tell, like, if they're, if they're far too easy, then you might be not clean. Well, I think you fuck a lot. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Know. I wouldn't. You can't be tell like, my story. You can't I ain't seen your it. vagina yet, but yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't mean yet. How come I guys say yet? One thing that does really irritate me is when boys come into the clinic and they'll be like, yeah, I've just had sex with a dirty girl. No. Or I want to make sure that I'm clean. And I'm just a little bit like, you're dirty, get out. <laughs> or sometimes I kind of have to remind them that there wouldn't be dirty girls if there wasn't dirty boys and, you know, not to attribute blame. And the thing is as well, it insinuates if you've got an STI that you're dirty. It's so horrible. How, how often do you come? In what context? <laughs> in Where context are you going with this? Off to the clinic. How often do I come? To the clinic. Not, not often enough. Right, what about the other terminology? Too often. <laughs> so we test for chlamydia and gonorrhea. And the way we test for that is we do a little swab that goes down the end of the penis. Mm -mm. I'm not getting positive vibes. Mm -mm, no, I don't want to do it. I have this really rare skin condition called lichen sclerosis. The symptoms are dryness, burning pain, like open sores. I've got a permanent scar, it's probably never ever going to heal. Okay. So if I was going to work with guys, that would probably keep causing more damage. What don't you like about the penile spot? Like, it's just gross, right? I don't want some nice pretty lady sticking sank down the... It's for a sexual health test, <laughs> yeah. though. No, I don't want to do it. No. OK. But we will need to do a blood test as well. OK, and that's for syphilis and HIV. Whenever you go to a sexual health clinic, is it easy for you to talk about that? People don't understand it because yeah. they don't understand that it can't be It's quite be rare as well and, yeah. it's, and it's incurable, yeah. If ever you have any open sores or any infections, take the opportunity to come on from that. Yeah. How are you today, my love? You all right? I do actually have something. Well, better to know. Better then know. we can treat it, right? So have you had these swabs done before? Yes, I have. You have, so you know what to expect a I little do. bit. I do. Oh! So we're going to do your blood test. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Will it hurt? You'll be fine. That's scary. Change sharp, Jag. That's not smaller than a toe needle. Is it not? No. Right, OK, my love. Pop the knees just out to the side for me. I'm going to pop this swab inside. A lot of blood. Well, we've left you with enough, don't worry. I thought it'd be gushing out. Human body's amazing, right? So I'm going to give you a urine pot. I need you to give me the first bit of pee that goes in. So this is your test for chlamydia. Have you heard of chlamydia before? Yes, had yeah. it before. I did know I had it. I had minor symptoms. Yeah. Sort of didn't think much of it. 
Yeah. And then it developed into pelvic inflammatory disorder, which mm. is like the stage after, which is like yeah. sore. It would hurt when I was like having sex and stuff. Like uh -huh. it'd be really, really painful. How did that make you think about sort of wearing condoms and things? Still don't use condoms after. The thing is, the more times you get chlamydia, the more you're going to be at risk of those complications again. No way! Yeah, absolutely. So having recurrent infections for chlamydia is actually quite dangerous. Oh, shit. Yeah, so just something to think about. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to pop this swab in here, if that's OK. OK. Sarah was telling me that you've got um, a skin condition that affects the genitals. Um, is yeah. that right? It's called lichen sclerosis. How has it affected you having sex and things? Um, it's really painful a lot of the time, yeah. yeah. You're able to sort of have vaginal sex or...? Yeah, but it's really uncomfortable. So how many partners have you had in the sort of past three months or so? I'm going to say about ten. About ten? OK. Roughly. And how many of them did you not use a condom with? Nine out of the ten. For me, frustrations are sort of lack of knowledge. You know, things like knowing about contraception, that sort of thing, and young girls, that's my biggest frustration, you know. Most things to do with sexual health and contraception are really, really manageable, and there's a lot of preventative stuff you can do, but if people don't know about it, then, you know, how can they be expected to, to do anything about it? Just bounce, like, and then you're looking at me, and I'm like, look at me, fam, innit? And I'm just here, my boys, like, I don't care about you. And you're still clocking hey, me, still like, looking at you're you. still clocking me. And then still be doing their moves, like, and then, yeah, I'd be like, I'd look you what, in the when, eye. What, when we're having a fag? Like this. What? And I'd be like... And you put it on me? I'd be like, you yeah, ain't having none, fam. And then you're <laughs> more on it. You're afraid. <laughs> because you wanted it. I didn't want you it. You wanted it. You wanted yeah, it. I mean, you wanted it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Hello, Rachel. Hi. Welcome back. Hello. Hi. How are you feeling? Um... Are you feeling anxious, excited about your results? I'm anxious now. Anxious, yeah, yeah. Sweaty palms, little what bit. What is you worrying about? What is you worrying about? Maybe a bit of chlamydia. So your results are all negative. Oh, good. Is that a relief for you today? Yeah. Yeah? It's always a relief to her. We tested you for everything. It's negative. So everything's couldn't find any infections oh, in your Jesus. blood. So what I thought that meant? <laughs> <laughs> what that? Negative crystal. You've, you've got it all. Leaves us with the like... chlamydia. What do you mean leaves with chlamydia? Leaves us with the chlamydia what? result. Mm -hmm. It was negative as well. <sighs> yes! Your pregnancy test was negative as well. They have come back negative. What does that mean? So it means you don't have syphilis. Oh yay! So that's great news, okay. But I think a few home truths. You need to be wearing condoms every time, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know, you can't be presumptuous about people. I mean, what if I was to say to you, you need to have unprotected sex with one person to catch something? Yeah, but then wouldn't I feel, like, sick or ill or...? No, not at all. So, with chlamydia in particular, to 80% have no symptoms whatsoever. Ever. Nothing at all. Wow. That's the same for gonorrhea, syphilis and HIV. I'm obviously really concerned about the fact that you don't like to wear condoms when you're having sex. Literally, I'll be honest, it's just laziness. Yeah. So I just need to up, up my game. Yeah, or like throw it into the ball pool and yeah. let them throw it on. Yeah. In the future, do you think it might, this nervousness might make you wear them yeah. again? What is wrong with having chlamydia, like? So if you have chlamydia long term, you can have irreversible complications from that, okay? For men, if you were to get chlamydia and we didn't treat it, you could have problems getting someone pregnant, you might be infertile. Mm -hmm. and then, but how would you treat it like? It's so easy to treat. It's literally one dose of an antibiotic. And it's gone? And it's gone. Anything else we can help with today? No? Perfect. Okay. All right, Bye. take care. Bye-bye. So I'm going to give you some condoms. I want you to go for a handful. Take some condoms with you. Thank you. It was All nice right. to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. All the best. Yeah. See you later. You think I'm flirting with you? Huh? You think I'm flirting with you? No. A little bit. Wow. I wouldn't know. Hmm? I wouldn't know. Why? Right, well, we need to stop. We're at the clinic, like, we're <laughs> dirty stuff house. Get the details for organisations that offer sexual health, STI and HIV advice at channel4.com forward slash support.